Now to our big story at 10. In a controversial move, Governor Scott Walker says no to expanding Medicaid. The federal money could have been used to expand Badger Care. Instead, Walker unveiled his own plan that he says will drop the state's number of uninsured adults from 14 percent to 7 percent. NBC 26's Deanna Corinthios is live at 10 to explain. Governor Walker says under his plan, more than 224,000 childless adults would be insured, creating more spots in Badger Care. But not everyone is happy with his decision, especially people who are still waiting on the list for insurance. 58,603. That's cancer survivor Diane Escher's number on the waiting list for Badger Care. It would be such a blessing to get health care. She'd hoped federal funding would help her get insurance, but she'll keep waiting. Governor Walker says his plan will reduce the number of uninsured adults in Wisconsin and reduce the number of people dependent on the government. I want the funding that we provide to things like Medicaid to be for what it was meant for, for people who are poor. Under Walker's plan, only adults making $11,490 a year or $15,510 for couples, in other words, at the poverty level, would be eligible for Medicaid. The governor wants more people to buy insurance through the private exchanges. They ultimately provide more control, more independence, more authority to the people and the families who participate in that. For someone just above the poverty line, that would cost $19 a month. But many Democrats say that's punishing Wisconsin taxpayers whose federal tax money will go to fund Medicaid. Medicaid in other states. It's bad for the state budget, and you know it's bad for people that you know are having a tough time getting by. Escher waits patiently. And I'm just hoping my health holds out. Now, so far, six Republican governors said yes to federal funding for Medicaid expansion. A dozen Republican governors, including Governor Walker, now have refused the money. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.